Hi, my name is Katie Howe. I graduated from the LSU Schools of Medicine and Public Health in 2017 and matched into general surgery residency at Virginia Tech Carilion in Roanoke, Virginia. I'm currently a PGY3 or a third year resident in general surgery there. Um, I have oftentimes uh, thought back and been very thankful that I got a degree in public health prior to going into residency because I think that especially in uh, surgical work, it can be easy to focus in on something uh, very um, sort of minute um, and oftentimes it's easy to lose sight of uh, some of the bigger social and environmental factors that affect my patient's health. So for instance, for the last two months, I've been working on a rural surgery rotation uh, in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and uh, I've been doing a lot of leg amputations, uh, primarily in patients with advanced atherosclerosis and uh, poorly controlled diabetes. And for many of these patients, they've known they have this disease process for years, but uh, without a, um, a big picture of what the determinant causes for this disease are, it's difficult for us as clinicians to uh, actually make an impact on the prevention of these diseases that ultimately have very morbid consequences for our patients. Uh, in terms of what I've been up to during residency, I've been involved in uh, three large areas of research. Um, one is on uh, suicide mortality uh, in the Appalachian Mountains and uh, um, the 10-year and five-year mortality among patients who survived their first suicide attempt. And this, of course, has um, uh, is related to not only our trauma systems, but then also our behavioral health uh, prevention mechanisms, which uh, stand to make a much bigger difference than my efforts as a clinician uh, on the trauma surgery end of things. Another area that I've been doing work in is on identifying malnutrition in critical care patients and specifically looking for ways to identify malnutrition using physical exam, which is much cheaper than imaging. Um, and what I'd like to develop and what I'm working to develop are simple physical exam and ultrasound modalities for identifying and then coding malnutrition. And then a third area that I've been interested in recently and that I'm will be presenting at the American College of Surgeons coming up is um, uh, the history of the Black Hospital Movement in Appalachia. Uh, and this, of course, matters to us significantly today because we look back on history and we say, um, we can see that uh, rural Black Appalachians were significantly disadvantaged when it, come, when it came to access to healthcare. But uh, truthfully, the uninsured and minorities across our country most especially in rural places, continue to have limited access to health care. So as I look at history as a former history teacher, I love looking at uh, the history of health care and seeing what are its implications and what can we learn from our history in order to improve our health care today and in the future. So I think in, in total, I would say that my work in public health affords me a macro approach uh, to issues that could otherwise be um, narrow and focus on a day-to-day -day basis clinically. And so it keeps me academically and intellectually engaged in what I'm doing uh, as a surgeon day-to-day.